Hello guys and welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Pascal and you may be wondering where is Kim? Well, currently we sent out to the Bahamas to get something for Trending. All right, so but hold on one second. Trending is going to bring you all the amazing interviews, thought leaders and celebrities that you've been waiting to see. We're going to show break right now. When we return, the show continues. Stick around. Welcome back guys, it's still Trending brought to you by Airtel. Now you know something about Trending is the fact that when we say we're coming for you, we're coming for you strong. We bring in the most amazing, interesting thought leaders and celebrities that you will love to have. Today is none of that because we have someone that you really love to have on the show. We're talking about someone that's changed the face of Afrobeat, it's changed and funkified it into something of his own. Terry Akwala and the beauty. Terry Akwala, thank you Good for coming on the show. Thank you, this is us, time. thank you so much for trending. Let's start with you right now. Okay. How did you come up with the name Terry Akwala? Terry Akwala. Terry Akwala. Okay, my full name is Terry Alexander AJ. Terry. Yes, so yeah. Okay. Terry is my real name. Okay. Akwala is a music genre. There's a music genre called Akwala music. So I do Akwala music. Terry. So I'll join together Terry Akwala. Are you gonna say that you've you try to put together Akwala and Afrobeat? How did you really do it? Why not yeah. people feeling your sound? How did you really do it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to hide on the Afro beats. Okay. Yeah, I have my own, like I invented the, you know, the sound Akbala. called Akbala Fusion. So, mm. I was an R&B singer, you get me? But, you know... R&B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like... Ah, you get me? So, <laughs> I can still do the R&B thing, mm -hmm. but I just feel, you know, doing your own thing, you know, sounding different, sounding African is, you know, is the yeah, best. It's, you it's get more, me? It's more great. If I'm... If I'm going to pick her and be music now, I can't do it more than Chris Brown. I can't do it more than, you know, the foreign artist. So I just want to do my thing that I'll be comfortable with. Fifteen years ago, I decided to pick the sound of Pala music, even though people were not really into that kind of music. But, you know, so I built myself, infused my kind of, you know, vibe into it. English language, broken English. So you get me. So trust me, like, I'm fine, I swear, with a, with a move. Global Award by God's Grace Grammy call Award. That, that. Pray, so it's called Aquala Fusion. Mm -hmm. So. Where I picked the name from, back to your question, Terry Akpala, Akpala, music genre, Terry, my real name. So I bet Terry Akpala, yeah. Fantastic. There's this very big speculation out there, and people have been saying it for a long period of time, for the longest time, that when artists, when they leave their record label or their talent manager, mm -hmm. they start going down. They're not like 100% the way they used to be mm -hmm. before. You see some of them like, they struggle to be between 50 and say 30. The one way get Greece where they enter like 60 and 70 before they now come up and pick up again. Mm -hmm. For likes of you, you were with Nelson Jack mm -hmm. before. <laughs> will you say, all right, Terry, will you say that this was what happened to you? I would say it like it happens to every artist, yeah. Okay. Let's start from Ricardo Banks, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ricardo Banks was a moving record, you get me? And when he came out from the record label, you know, from 100 to... So sometimes I just feel the record label has more money to spend. But you on your own, over Kaku. If record label is spending like 100 million naira on your project, like trying to put you out there, you get me? So by the time when it gets to that time where you're trying to push your thing yourself and you start calculating, okay, I have 5 million naira or more. So for someone like me, like when I left my record label, yeah, they were doing well. When I started on my own, this was independent, whatever. So there was no much money because the record label, was, they were spending only 100, but me, I don't have that kind of money. So it happens to every artist. Everybody, we all are facing it. Me, Ida, me, Yoko, anybody. Me, Yoko was, in, was with David O2, exactly. but he gave me, so I just feel everybody's, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal, it's like it's normal like thing. Because like the record label has more money to spend. They has there. more strength mm. to do that, you know, you doing your thing by yourself. Do you, you know think I mean? it's only about the record label now um, spending more money? Or are you coming from this perspective or of just only money? Baba, me, I won't lie to you. As far as the music industry is concerned, or, bro, or, bro, or, bro, let's not cap. No, I'm trying to say. Wait, because, wait. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. See, as far as the music industry is concerned, mm -hmm. Okay, take a look at me for example. Now everybody will come to me every day. Bro, you're on director, you can sing. Bro, I can sing now. Bro, I've been doing music for over 22 years. But the main problem that I'm facing right now, trust me, is capital. As far as making industry is concerned, everybody they face them. Any artist we mention with the record label, they were big when they left the record label from 100 start, to like 50. Going. Bro, it's money because for you to do your PR, to put your songs everywhere, radio and everything. Baba me. Even the OAPs, everybody have their family now. Probably Bro, we, just now, like, you exactly. get me? Exactly. So if it's not money, if you exclude money, <laughs> Baba, no verse, if not, no, talent, no day enough. Talent's never even enough. Aside from you branding Talent's yourself, not enough. doing music, but bro. Exactly. exactly. The problem with me, I face so, mm -hmm. why I face like this, bro? 
I want our money. Oh. Okay, so it's, it's money that. Ah, actually, bro, it's so, money. So the major reason why artists actually go through this. Bro, right, it's money. It's because of capital. Yeah, bro, it's money. What about the relationship? Yeah, from yeah. The, record the relationship Libya? matters mm -hmm. too, bro. If I have a relationship with you, yeah. Mm. Take a look at T.J. Mori. Okay. Bro, I'm close to T.J. Mori. Like sometimes we talk on WhatsApp, blah blah. I'm close to him. If T.J. Mori is charging twenty naira, for example. Exactly. Okay, tell me, my guy, bring ten naira. Even that ten naira, I say, bro, I still never get down. So, okay. bro, what are we saying? Mm. Okay, Bonner Boy now, collect Grammy Award, Abi. For Bonner Boy to sell his sound to that level of, you know, why people listen to the music, now money push and reach general. Nobody say Bonner Boy just drop song, put him, he just a top chat on him. But by me, everything now money. You can look at me now, I want to shoot a video, best quality, like my own kind of video, my perfect kind of video. I need money. Because of I don't have money to, you know, give to Joe Murray, but I'm going for the lower one. If not talent, TJ supposed, supposed to just call me, say, oh, bro. Come, come you get me so, Baba me, I don't even have money. Mm. Now so money you're because trying to, you're trying to say to Baba us now me, that affiliation is not enough. Relationship is enough. It's just part of it. But you get me. But bro, you as discount. wait, you as an artist, you want to brand yourself. Okay, okay take a look at me now. This thing why we are coming now. I know go where I'm going with that interview tomorrow. Copy that. Now money. I know where nylon for body now. So you get me. So make no they lie. Say uh, Baba me, if not talent. I buy me I play instruments, I they sing, I do R&B, I do Akpala music. So talent is never enough. Let's not even... So the money and the, the money is Relationship, there. money, works together. Mm. But, but sometimes, it, it's always been said as well that sometimes successful, mm -hmm. all right, the deal becomes a problem. Do you um, like Yeah, the deal that they were offered becomes okay, a problem. And they feel like, man, I'm making a lot of money. Why should they still be giving me this amount of, money. amount of money from the money I'm making from my show, I'm making so much money and they're giving me peanuts from 50%. What do you think happens there? Do you think like it's just the selfishness in quote that in the mind of the artist, the manager or the talent managers or the people that pumps money into the artist are thinking or it's just like, what, what do you think is happening there? First of all, I would say there's, there's a contract here. Yeah? When I got sent to my previous Doesn't record label, yeah, there was a contract. Okay, you you, like you'll be taking so so percentage, I'll be taking this. So as far as the contract and you're giving your own percentage, let's say I have a show and you're meant to take like, okay, let's say you're meant to take like 20%. Your 20% got to be your 20%. Sometimes, not waiting the cost should be that safe. That's not even the issue. Waiting the cost issue. Yeah, sometimes I feel when the artist get to that level where he feels he or she is big to some level. Baba, me as for me, well, let me not speak for them, but as for me, as far as we have contracts, it's not as if we're having like a verbal agreement. It's written, it's a paperwork. I will follow the contract. If I have two, three years to stay with you and I'm taking 10 or 30 percent, I will keep taking it. But some artists feel they are big, like they are bigger than some kind of... That contract, yeah. <laughs> That's the Kuri, if I will say. Okay. Yeah, but me, I'm not that kind of person. But I've heard previous story, like many, many stories about, you know, artists with record label. Like me, I've had issues with some record labels, even before they was in Jack in there. Not, not even because of um, money for shows and stuff. Maybe endorsement. They collected, you know, 10 million naira. They gave me 2 million naira. At the end of the day, I heard they gave them 10 million. Why the record label? This was my previous record label. I've had some kind of issue with them. So some artists just feel they are big. I had to collect 30% before. No, I don't feel they collect them again. But I mean, you get contracts. Just follow the contract. But for me, I'm not that kind of artist. I follow my contract. Mm, copy that. Let's talk about your sound. Your sound is one of the most renowned and funkified sound that you've brought into the scene. You've done this for, as you said, for over 15 years or 22 years. As you no, said. 15 years, Akwala. 15 years, Akwala. Well, music, R&B, slash 22 years. Right. Okay. Copy that. Let's talk about the new generation, the Gen Zs. Do you feel like they're feeling your sound enough? And this is a personal question. Do you feel like the Gen Zs are feeling your sound enough? Or do you think you need to change something in your sound for them to be able to feel it? They are beginning to feel it, if I would say, because, you know, can compare Back to like, you know, five years ago when I came out with Champagne Shower, you know, yeah. like they find it very hard to, you know, to pick. To, yeah. But now I can say they are beginning to enjoy it, you know. From my comments on Instagram, my Instagram DMs, you know, people are reaching out to me, you know, the Gen Z is calling me for collabo. You know, I work with Ladipo, I work with Psycho YP, you know, many artists from the Gen Z, so you get me. So the new things I'm trying to add to my sound now is, you know, trying to add like a bit of the, you know, the R&B fusion, whatever. Like I said mm. to you before this interview, yeah. I said I'm going back to my guitar class because for like two, three years now, I've not been playing guitar. So, you play, you play, yeah. you play. so I'm working on my same on that aspect and trying to sell my sound to the Gen Z. But trust me, we're getting to that part where the Gen Z at least, they can actually, you know, feel me. And I'm also beginning yeah. to add chants to chance. Akbala now. Yeah. Give us an example. Yeah, if you listen. 
Yeah. You get me? So, I wasn't doing that before. So, my team guys, they said, okay, bro, just try and, you know, hard more for them to know that you are not a big singer before. Because most of us, they always feel like, it's still yoruba -ish. like the sound is still yoruba -ish. so now I'm beginning to, you know, do more, you know, international sound added to it. Copy, copy that. Let's talk about the affiliations around artists, yeah. I know that you used to be, you're closer to Flavor, you've done yeah, something with yeah. Flavor, Fals, Flavor, you've done M.I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think during that 2017, 2016, 2018, 2018. Yeah, yeah, during that period, you were really big around those artists. Yeah. Like you were seeing with this one, seeing with this one. Mm -hmm. People may actually think that of late, you've not been seen with those artists. Are you going to say the affiliation dropped or there was a rift between you guys or what exactly is happening? Or do you think okay. it's still the management thing? What do you and think? And this is where I will take you back to the question you asked me Go about, ahead. you know, the thing that happened between, you know, artists and record label, when artists leave the record label. That was part of the thing that happened to me then. You know, there are some issues and part of it was capital because I left the record label and, you know, there wasn't much for me to push forward. Imagine me, that record label was spending money on, they were spending like 50K. Let's just say for example, 50, they were spending like 50 Naira. So at that time, when I left the record label, there was no money. Someone that is spending 50K now began to spend like 10K. You get me? I couldn't drop song. Those some issues within me and my record label then was part of it too. You get me? But... Sorry, party, party, but... Yeah, but you get me? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I don't want to Was it to, monetary yeah. issue? This guy had like... Did you collect someone's wife? What no, 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 no. On my own part, it was a monetary issue. Okay, okay. You get me? Because okay, the record label. label was not there anymore. So Do you I was think going your doing... record label back in the day were trying to just zone you out? Like cut you out <laughs> in all front? I'm trying to dodge this because I don't want to no, go no, to no, the... No, no, because like this no. thing happens to a lot of, a lot of yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are be becomes victim to this kind of course. Yes. Bro, I faced it too, like I said earlier. My own was monetary issue. Like it was part of it. You get me? Record label issues, you know, due to, you know, courts. Say you could not do this, blah, 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 blah. So I was given like a year plus not to do anything. So for like nine months a year, I wasn't doing anything. You get me? So, anyways, okay, <laughs> I'll put that okay, that, yeah. okay no, 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 no worries. But I, I feel like right now you're getting back with your body of work now. With I'm, back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm you're back. You're back 100%. Next year, February, I'm yeah, coming yeah. back fully. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But right now, you're, you're, you're seeing with DJ Tunes. Yeah, 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 sure, you're sure, linking with Whiskey. Sure. So, the other day, Whiskey posted your, your body of work on his story. The thing is, like, I have a couple of songs out there. A couple of songs out there. Oh, very good. I have with J Hoss, I have with Gecko, I have with Kidaku, Zafro B. I have like songs with them, you get me, but. I'm just trying to look for the right time and trying to get to you know, get myself back to the scene, trying to get capital. Like you know, you're, you're, you're doing good. You're doing but great. But the song so far, the one with DJ Tunes, Apala Disco, is going well. Copy yeah. that. Talking about depression now, a lot of people have talked about depression. Recently, we've, we've been seeing a fight on social media. I don't want to name names, but we know people that we're talking about. Um, like there is this standard on the mainland, on the island, that makes people go depressed because they're trying to um, outshine each other or they're trying to live up up to a certain standard which of course makes them depressed. Yeah. Have you ever been depressed with these kind of things before? Yeah, or I've been there. Was that why you did a song that had depression? Yeah, yeah, depression, yeah. That's part of the reason why, because yeah, I faced a lot. Imagine me as an artist, I wasn't doing anything, no interviews, no shows. I didn't know where the problem came from. Maybe for my record label, I went to meet, you know? Yeah, trying to, to blacklist, you, out. you know, say blacklisted mm -hmm. me in so many ways, you get me? So I was depressed, but no Lysha. Most artists that stays on the island, most of them are depressed. And I feel sometimes, as an artist, you need to learn how to manage yourself. I think, because I was staying on the mainland. I, the reason I left mainland, for example, to island was because, you know, it was very hard for me to go from, like, from mainland to the island. So I left mainland because sometimes they'll come in for shows. And if I get to the shows, I'll be late. Interview sometimes, I'll go to... The yeah, venue, yeah, I'll exactly, get the lead. So I've learned how to manage myself. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I asked myself when this whole Oladif thing was happening, like oh, Oladif formed, that he died, then that he died, blah blah blah. I said, ah, what's in the cause of depression? So I told him, I said, man, what's in the cause of depression now? Nah, when they won't do anything past you, I won't lie to you. Sometimes I feel we artists, we just want to do more than, well, more than what you trust me, because let's say you're taking 1.5 million for a show and you're going to club and pop. You get to the time where your house rent expires, no money to pay, no money to push your song. So I just feel most of the artists on the island, we're always facing this depression, depression, depression everywhere. Just as an artist, my advice to them is just learn how to manage yourself, you know. Use your money well and use your time well because you know go rain forever. Because 
if not for the old thing that happened between me and my record label, which one cause depression? Because this is me. I'm always on my. I'm an introvert. I'm always in my house. If I'm not in my house, I'm in my studio. If I'm not in my studio, I'm playing snooker or playing games with my guys. So nothing won't make me. Nobody depressurize me. I'm not going to go to club and if I go to club, ask them, they know me. You know, even they drink. It is not energy drink or coke and ice. Don't worry. But a lot of people do not believe. They feel like this is a myth. Like when you just I don't, say, I don't yeah, smoke, you don't I don't drink. drink. You don't smoke. I, I when don't you hear the texture of I, your alcohol. I don't smoke, I don't drink. Like if it. you see me in the club, you see that I'm doing coke and ice or energy drink and ice. Mm, yeah. Sorry, copy that. Before we talk about um, the other body of work that you're working on, the project that you're working on, let's talk about one particular advice that you would give an upcoming artist right now. Just be prayerful. Because without God, <laughs> whatever you're doing is nothing. Just be prayerful, work hard, and link up. There's an upcoming artist, just link up. Because if you don't link up, we'll <laughs> you don't go there. Yes, you are. <laughs> that's your sense. Right, so what other project are you working on now? So I just got signed to um, Inicross. That's like a new management, my new team, new everything. So we're doing new things at the moment. So next year, February, I'll be dropping my project titled Black and White, you know, trying to sell the black, means like local music to the international, you get me? Yeah, that's it. So, like I said, Afrobe, Kidakus, j horse I'm bringing them to the Akpala Sound. So, next year will be great. Me, everyone, by God's grace, yeah. Black and white. Yeah. It's to turn in brought to you by HL. We'll go on a short break right now. When we return, Terrakola is too much in the building. Stick around, don't go nowhere. We're we'll coming back. Welcome back, guys. It's still training, brought to you by Airtel. And of course, as they have here with me, Terry Akpala, who's about to play some games. We'll start with the fast fire questions where I ask you some questions okay. and you answer in 60 seconds. You ready? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Here the question goes Number one question is Who you rather prefer, a skinny and rich girl or a curvy and intelligent girl? A curvy and intelligent girl. Curvy and intelligent. We're yeah. marking his word though. Yes, Game of Thrones or Vikings? Mm, I really don't do movies, all right, all but right. let, me go, let, me, let me go for one, Vikings. Vikings, all right, yes. copy that. Um, date a banker or date a lawyer? I would date a banker because I can't handle a lawyer. Why, why, why you say that? I don't know, they, I don't know. They, you feel like the argument? Naturally, they have this, I don't know, pride, or I don't know. Hey, hey okay, copy that. Are you a star or Thames? I'll pick Thames. Thames, why? Yeah. She's unique. Copy that. Does something different. Copy you know? that, copy that. All right, one thing on your bucket list. Mm, going back to my guitar class. Right, yeah, that's it, yeah. Copy that, copy that. What's that one thing that's most expensive that you're wearing right now? My wristwatch. Copy that. How much is it? <laughs> Costumili. Costumili. <laughs> Costumili. All right, first song you ever wrote. I just wrote Nigeria in 2004. Oh, all right. That's my first Akpala music, not like my first ever song. All right, copy that. All right, so where is that place that you go to when you want to be alone? Hmm, I got in. There's a lounge in my estate, yeah. I always go there, close to my house, yeah. All right, copy that. I got the final it. question I want to ask you is, when was the last time you made out? <laughs> okay, no <laughs> I've just asked you, why you asked <laughs> Okay, all of us will be man now. Hey yeah, now, come on. Last two months, yeah. Last two months. I'm not really a sex person, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, you're not a tat tat, sorry. Yeah. Okay, guys, so training brought to you by Airtel. We're going to short <laughs> break right now. When we return, the show <laughs> continues. Welcome back, guys. It's still trending, brought to you by Airtel. Now, of course, I still have uh, Terry Akbala here in the building, but let me quickly put you on the spot. Okay. For something that you want, I want you to do for us, and for trending, brought to you by Airtel. I want you to do a song for us, like a freestyle, uh, with a titled Keep Watching Trending. Let's go. Trendy, Lori put TV, ito toladu, by Homo Ologo, Kimopra, Terry Akbala Modei. Are you on your machine with the old trendy? Terry, dingy dingy ding, can the Danny? But that's how you fantastic. That's really God bless great. You, man. God bless Thank you, Thank you so much. So, going to the next one right now is the pictures or the video of the day. Let's go. <laughs> Look at your, your plate. Let's see where you're coming from. Hmm. Terry Akbala. I think the picture, I, when, I, when I think picture 2000 and. Wait. 2000 and what? 2012. Oh, 2012. What about yeah. this one? This, uh, 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 2015. Okay. I was looking for this one. Okay. Yeah, 2015. Oh, Omar. What about this one? 2012, too. Omar. Yeah. Now, chopping, you've chopped up right now, go on, Terry. I swear to God. I'm saying. Man, I don't suffer. <laughs> Man, I've really changed, though. Yeah, you have. You have. <laughs> You're looking so freshy. So, but, but let's, let's talk about <laughs> I was you really here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Good. Can you imagine? But, but how do you feel that you've come from here? But this is really me. Yeah, this is you now. This is you. <laughs> so how do you feel like you've, you've come from here to here now? And uh, at that point that you, you just feel like, man, you're here now. First of all, I want to give thanks to God because it's been God all the way. Because, mm. man, the journey to this level was so rough and tough. And you know, I just want to thank God. Because but here you of, are. A lot, a lot, a lot has happened. Like, my journey, man, from nothing to something. I'm bigger now. Alhamdulillah. I swear. Thank God. And we're going bigger than this. By God's copy grace. that, copy yeah. that. You signed your new record. Your project is coming out. I swear. Um, black and white, I Black swear. and white coming black out white, yes. next year. Next black year. Next by God's year, grace. February. February by God's exactly. Grace. Um, Terry Apal, I want to say thank you so much for coming through the show today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> thank you for coming. And I, for here, definitely, we're going to be supporting you 100% you. for your project. Okay. And um, I hope that whatever it is that you're looking for, really, you really get it. Yes, so, yes, so. You're really talented. So please, TV, you guys support me. Support me. Yeah, so quickly drop your social um, handles. Right? Yeah, just you know, follow me on Instagram, Terry Akpala official on Twitter at I am Terry Akpala, on Facebook Terry Akpala, on TikTok Terry Akpala official. God bless you guys. Ip TV, please keep supporting. Homologo, of course, Saila, Anima Shangwejo, Kimopra, Kimopra. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I beg. Uh, I rap Ip TV uh, all day, uh, all time. Uh, I swear. Right from 100%. the day of hip hop world. You don't think, you know, understand? Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, we're here God bless you, you guys. Thanks for having yes, me. Really. I really appreciate it. More blessings. It. All right, so that's a wrap on Trending brought to you by Airtel. Hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I enjoyed every moment here on Trending brought to you by Airtel. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. But firstly, talking about our social channels on DSTV channel 324 and of course on Go TV channel 22. So we'll see you next time. Make sure you keep following Trending and following every of our social channels. My name is Pascal, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stick around.